in the U.S., we're frankly a little obsessed with private property rights. And I think that is where so much of this sense of I should be able to do whatever I want on my private land and no one should be able to tell me what I need to do really undercuts that obligation that we do still all have to a pu the larger public, to the larger community. And I think part of why we do see in the U.S. cities tend to vote Democratic, uh, more rural areas tend to vote Republican, and the suburbs are kind of this battleground increasingly as they're urbanizing. And it has to do with some of that, when you live in a city, you might have a smaller resident, your own apartment is not all that big, but you have a great par public park to go to. You rely on public transportation. You have a more public life. And urbanites tend to really like that. The folks who live often in, a, in a lower density places really value having that backyard, their own piece of dirt. They value having their own, their own house and they don't have to hear a neighbor and, and see neighbors and the control that comes with that and, the, and they don't like the traffic, but they like having their private car. So again, the, the dynamics between what do we share and what do we all contribute to versus what do we each individually control, those are extremely political issues and the, you know, how communities at the different levels, community level, state level, federal, uh, we, see, we have a lot of debate on what the, ru the rules and regulations should be on those issues.